Welcome to Discover Library and Archives Canada, your history, your documentary heritage. I'm your host, Théo Martin. Join us as we showcase treasures from our vaults, guide you through our many services, and introduce you to the people who acquire, safeguard, and make known Canada's documentary heritage. Welcome to Treasures Revealed. In this new podcast series, we'll be showcasing certain items in the Library and Archives Canada collection. Each episode will speak to a LAC employee and highlight an item that they consider a real treasure in our collection. They may be rare items, perhaps unusual or valuable, or items with historical significance. Perhaps they will have a compelling or interesting story to go along with them. More importantly, all of them will showcase our vast and rich collection that is the shared documentary heritage of all Canadians. Now, on to episode four, the Halifax Gazette. Our guest on this episode is LAC Senior Librarian Megan Scanlon. Hello, I'm Megan Scanlon. Um, I am a Senior Special Collections Librarian at Library and Archives Canada. My job is to work with the Rare Book Collection, and I have been here since 2010. Megan, what is the treasure that we are talking about today? This is an issue of the Halifax Gazette newspaper, which was published on March 23rd, 1752. Um, The printer is a man named John Bushell, um, and he was actually the first printer to set up a business in British North America. He was born in Boston, uh, and he went into the printing business there. He had a partner named Bartholomew Green. Uh, Green moved to Halifax in 1751 to set up a shop there, but he died. Uh, before he could get it going, so Bushell moved to Halifax and took over that business. Uh, At the time, I think the population of Halifax was only about 4,000 people. The city was actually only founded in 1749, Um, so there wouldn't have been a big market for, like, novels or, you know, books. Uh, So most of Bushell's work consisted of government documents and ephemera, like forms and book plates, um, and this newspaper. Can you give us a description of the newspaper? What does it look like? And so the newspaper itself, it's, it's one piece of paper printed on both sides uh, with the news in two columns, uh, mostly international news. But there is some local content, including some ads. Uh, for example, there is one ad for a place that sells paper and writing supplies and another that sells, uh, it says, choice butter uh, sold by the firkin which I learned is a uh, uh, cask (laughs) that was used to sell butter. And one firkin is something like 25 kilograms, which is a lot of butter. Canada's first newspaper features two elegant woodcuts at the top, a ship in full sail on the left and a bird hunter chasing game on the right. Some of the foreign news included in this first edition of the Halifax Gazette were the facts that a madman had thrown a stone at the Pope's head in Rome and that London had a new Lord Mayor. The first issue also included an item about the death of military officer and businessman John Gorham, who died in London of the smallpox. By 1769, the paper began to publish local marriages, deaths and births on a regular basis. How did Library and Archives Canada acquire this item? Uh, So, as people probably know, I I think there's a a lot of movement between um, Halifax and Boston. There's like a historical connection there. When the Halifax explosion happened in 1917, Boston sent a lot of aid, and Halifax actually sends them a Christmas tree every year. Um, So that sort of, you know, corridor between Boston and Halifax has always been... uh, 
important. And somehow this newspaper actually ended up in the collection of the Massachusetts Historical Society. Um, not sure how, but uh, when they found it, they were kind enough to, you know, un- recognize its importance to um, Canadian history, and they uh, gave it to LAC in 2002. Of all of the copies of this premier issue of the Halifax Gazette printed on March 23, 1752, only one remains. As Megan mentions, it was the National Library that acquired the first issue from the Massachusetts Historical Society on June 20, 2002. The National Library and the National Archives joined to form LAC in 2004. Megan, why is this item a treasure? Well, simply, it is possibly uh, the first document ever printed in the territory called Canada. It's uh, certainly one of the first. Um, that's, you know, pretty important. Uh, the printing press um, was developed in Europe in, around, in the 1450s, uh, and it, you know, gradually spread around Europe, and then made its way to North America, and it, so it, it's a full 300 years between Gutenberg and the first printing press in Canada. So it's, it, for us, I think that's hard to understand because we're used to technological change happening at a much more rapid pace. But um, <laughs> the other thing about it is this is the only copy known to survive of this newspaper. Um, it's issue number one of the Halifax Gazette. Uh, and you know, newspapers are not really made to be preserved. They're still today printed on pretty low quality paper because it's expected that you know you'll read it and get rid of it. So, um, th- like this is very very rare, uh, which also adds to its importance. How is this item stored at LAC? Yeah, it's in a frame inside a box, so it really, you know, it doesn't get a lot of light exposure or anything. Um, it has been digitized, so it's available online. Uh, and, yeah, because it's in a frame, right? So it's actually, it's in a frame with the original on one side and then a reproduction of the second page next to it so people can read both sides. Um, of course, since there's only one copy and it's printed on both sides of the page, um, you know, that's, uh, that's an issue. <laughs> Get it, making the second page available if it's not uh, if it's in any kind of housing. More than 265 years later, the Halifax Gazette continues to appear every week as the Royal Gazette, an official publication of the Nova Scotia government. To view images of the premier issue of the Halifax Gazette. Head on over to LAC's Flickr page. There, you will find an album of images called Treasures Revealed. We will update that album with each episode, giving you a chance to view the treasures that we will be highlighting. We will also add a link to the Flickr album in the related links section on the episode page for this podcast. Thank you for being with us. I'm Théo Martin, your host. You've been listening to Discover Library and Archives Canada, where Canadian history, literature, and culture await you. A special thank you to our guest today, Megan Scanlon. Special thanks also to Isabelle Larocque and Sandra Nichols for their contributions to this episode. Treasures Reveal theme song provided by Blue Dot Sessions. This episode was produced and engineered by David Knox. If you like this episode, you're invited to subscribe to the podcast. You can do it through the RSS feed located on our website, Apple Podcasts, or wherever else you get your podcasts. If you're interested in listening to the French equivalent of our podcast, you can find French language versions of all our episodes on our website, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Simply search for Découvrez Bibliothèque et Archives Canada. For more information on our podcasts, or if you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please visit us at BAC.com. 
lacgcca podcasts.